I'm not afraid of anything. If anything, <laughs> chill out with all that. You just took you away too far. You won't talk to me like that, Desi. I, I don't put up did. with your crap and you know it. I just did. <laughs> Congratulations. Would you like a cookie? Really does. Really. What are you so afraid of? I didn't say I was afraid of anything. What? I, I didn't. But you're behaving in a very fearful way. Of? I'm asking you what you're afraid of. Because your attitude, your behavior is, I'm going to get them before they get me. Why are you so afraid that you're not going to be accepted? I'm not. Then why are you behaving this way? I don't know, because I am. Be because that's just how I handle things. Well, because... you have a thousand choices that you could choose, and you choose this one consistently, is to attack people verbally, alienate them, push them away, call them names, and distance yourself from them. Mm -hmm. That's not an accident that that's a pattern. So you're afraid of something. I'm just curious if you have any insight at all as to what it is. No, I'm not, I'm not afraid of anything. It's, people tell me, take a deep breath. It's gonna be okay. So then I take a deep breath. No, because then I'm even more mad because it doesn't do anything. Okay. Well, I said there were two questions I wanted to ask you. Here's one of them. Do you understand what hierarchy is? No, I don't know what that means. Okay, and that's okay. Hierarchy means pecking order, that it's kind of like in the military, there's a general, and then there's a colonel, and then there's a captain, and then there's privates. You know, there's an order. You know, there's a, there's a pecking order. There's somebody in control, and then there's somebody that reports to that person, and somebody that reports to that person, and somebody that reports to that person. That's a hierarchy. That's what that means. And somebody has to be in control, and that's true in a family. Do you acknowledge that your mother is the head of this family? No. Okay, so if she's not the head of the family, are you the head of the family? No. So you don't recognize her authority as a parent? Nobody's head of what you just said. The family? Yeah, no. So you don't recognize her as a parent, her authority to direct you as a child in what you need to do and not do? No, I do. I'm sorry? I do. But you don't comply? No. Okay. And you understand, and I said how you answered these questions was gonna be outcome determinative. You recognize that when you choose the behavior, you choose the consequences. Yeah. That, you know, if you, like if you choose to steal something and get caught, you choose to go to jail. If you choose to speed you and you get a ticket, ticket yeah. you choose to pay the fine. You choose the behavior, you choose the consequences. Mm -hmm. And you're choosing behaviors that put you in conflict with authority on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. You don't acknowledge that the teachers are in charge of the class. You go up and down the hallways yelling and screaming. You know, teachers got chlamydia, disrupting class and all. You don't recognize the hierarchy at school. I mean, like... I'm sorry? I do, but I don't okay. because I choose not to. You choose not to? Yeah. Okay, so because that tells me you're unsocialized and so you don't function in society. <laughs> oh. No, it does. It tells me that you're immature and you don't recognize the mores and folk ways of society, the way the world works. Is that so? Yeah. Oh, okay. What are you so afraid 